to Beach. Felipe Toledo using priority. Here we go with Toledo. Slashing off the top. Look at Sharp. Angled. Precise in his approach all the way back into the pocket for Toledo. Look at this surfing. I mean, right off the bat, you know, he's like, wow, that was that was quick. That was great. It was in transition. But this turn right here, I mean, it is so money. And the arc under the, I mean, he whipped it so hard. He got tubed on the way out. That was ridiculous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This thing just heated right up after break. I mean, come on. And now Toledo's getting started. Beat hook to start. Layback dagger on the open face. Jams it off the lip and has total control. Celebrates, sees the reform, but he'll get dropped off there on the inside reef. The Red Bull athlete zone is going bananas. So he liked it, but then backing him up. I mean, this wave is bigger. It's got a better face on it. It's cleaner. His turns are tighter. I mean, watch this one, rah, right under the lip, and then this, the follow-up, slam right into the lip line. That's dynamic, and we haven't seen a whole lot. To keep that flow going in the legs, and now we see the man to beat. Toledo has given us the most entertainment on this wave, already starting off with a big <laughs> throw tail reverse oh, on sections where most are just kind of pacing their way through. He's already going for it. Nice barrel from Toledo. Yeah, here's the thing. Leo threw down the eight on the right, so he's got to come out of the gate swinging. Just shows us that he has just such a different read. He's able to risk everything, throws that tail out, starts to downplay that tempo as he's going to set up for this inside section. Big carve there. Nice wrap. Strider, how's he looking? Incredible transition into the barrel. Are you kidding me? Timing on point. Perfection as we've seen before. Already out into the open face. Bango! Kick the alley-oop. And a comeback to Mick. Let's go. Calm down, everybody, he says. Woo! Some people get hit. Worried when they hear that crowd. It fills up Toledo's energy, and he is thriving off this. It's incredible. And uh, you know, Surfline had mentioned it was going to be fairly inconsistent. Here comes Toledo. He uses priority. Big snap there. Defending world champ one more time. And let's make it three for Felipe Toledo. Looking electric here. Fourth and finishing maneuver. And that's going to be it. Is that the turn of the heat? We'll see. 6.44 is his knee. The crowd likes it. Um, and this is explosive. This feels like the best wave of the heat to me. What do you think, Flick? I love the surfing. I just think maybe not enough variety compared to Griff's wave. Uh, but that's me being super critical. I think it's great surfing. I think it was top to bottom. I think it was critical. And I think he timed all those turns really well. But just when I compare it to Griff's wave, I just think the variety might not quite have been there. I mean, massive fin throw. Definitely some progression. However... They were the same type of maneuver, but... Pretty darn radical, oh, yeah. I will give it that. The, and the, the timing doesn't get any better, sorry. No, that's exactly it. It, it is. Uh, um, good to see. I like that. The fight is there. Look at like we've got world number one in motion. Toledo, two-time J-Bay champ, throws down a clean down carve right back to the lip. Disconnected off that second section. And how about that perfect slice into the pocket? Toledo still running after this one as John gets started to the best on tour. Going back to back here in different heats. He said the heat against Kelly was a big one. There was a, a few nerves involved with that. I just think the gravity of that heat uh, was weighing on him. But uh, even on this first scoring wave here, this 617, you can tell he's opened up again. He's feeling a bit free. Here we go, Toledo. Oh my goodness. Felipe Toledo, first turn, snap to slide. Healthy looking wall, how about that searing carve through the open face, back off the top again. Driving off the lip line, beating so many sections. Another big smooth hook, sets up that snap, right back to the top again as he meets the lip. Throws it off the lip again. Man, almost perfect, really. Uh, when you look at the approach of the wave, just gearing down the line, tags the first section here, and then just builds more speed. That gaff there, just incredible how he wrapped that in such a short space of, of time. Gets up on the lip again. All the maneuvers, everything, all the energy 
direct it down the line, up and down the wave. Just using the full canvas, just manipulating it exactly how he wants to. Comes all the way through to the inside and gets the little blow tail. And uh, immediately the emotions start flying from Toledo. But have a look at the form here. Just keeping the energy low in the upper body just so that he could get uh, climb back up on the lip air here. So a double, a little sort of double hit, the space of one manoeuvre. But this turn here just tags it, gets the tail release and uh, puts that weight back on the front foot. It just makes sense that the fans would choose Toledo. Like you said, from the opening round all the way through, he's been untouchable. Driving down the line with a lot of speed is Felipe as he lays down the down carve. Packs it right there with a solid punch in the pocket, drifts the fins. Three great moves and Toledo still going. Cool little gouge to slide and shuts it down. Toledo, you are an animal. Wow. 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 This is just backing up that 8.83. One more look at Toledo. Oh, well, this is the best wave of the final by a mile in terms of the way it stood up and let Felipe just open up this carve. Oh, just extending that rail line. Backs it up again with a quick snap. This section stands up and he goes, you know what? I'm just going to flare the tail out. So three different maneuvers. Shows us a fourth with the layback hat. Comes all the way through to the inside. Critical right on the bricks. Strider, what did you see from the water was? Uh, nothing but pure fury coming off the rail. I mean, look at the way this guy surfs. Absolute perfection. When he did that turn right there in the lip and he clicked out over into the flats and just com completely just annihilated the next turn and the finish was beautiful. I mean, this guy is just on fire. The opportunities arise and then he just goes nuts. I mean, look at the surfboard. Watch the board. Look at the board in the lip. Look at it flying. Just like, just reconnecting, clicking down out of it. The board control is just ridiculous. And watching him peel back the layers oh. of different maneuvers throughout the whole wave. Felipe Toledo is unstoppable right now. He's paddling by us. He just let out the lions roar. That was insane. He just paddled by and roared beyond belief. <laughs> Felipe Toledo, wave number two in this title match. Razor sharp on the first carve. The pump off the bottom, throws it out there, stomps it into the flats, stands up. Right on the back real quickly, Rich. Talk us through this replay. Wow, this first opening carve to, like, it's just sizzling, you know. He's just turbo boost through that and then just throws the giant air reverse, full rotation. And uh, whenever you see Felipe stand tall like that, you know he's absolutely stoked in it. But this opening carve, look at the extension of the upper body. Gets the wings right out. Uh, that up, you know, the upper body just leading the, the lower body gets centered again, pumping down the line, hits the lip absolutely perfectly, already starting the rotation as he launches. And uh, yeah, well, it was just about a 360 degree rotation, it was probably about 340, but uh, incredible maneuvers, yeah, and standing proud for the finish, Felipe Tolle.